well, the experimentation continues in Greece, uh, even after the elections. And we should not forget that there's still a lot to be done according to the recipe of the Troika and the Greek neoliberal political forces. I believe that uh, they're using the tool of blackmailing again because they want to reinforce what they call structural, structural reforms. Uh, we should not forget that despite the measures of social disaster and uh, extreme austerity, there's still a big part of the program that needs to be applied. And privatizations, extensive massive privatizations, are the first thing in their priority list. So they need to blackmail the people again because they do not want to achieve social consensus in order to promote their so-called reforms. They are now based only on blackmailing and the, on the reproduction of terror in the Greek society. That's why they are using again the same rhetoric that um, in one day there is one official saying that uh, well maybe we m might cut the fundings and the next day one other institutional representative says no we will do and everything necessary. I believe that this soap opera as you said uh, will continue because uh, now Greek citizens are in front of paying for their annual tax bills and moreover there are cuts of 11.5 billion euro to come during this week probably. This means that they will continue to terrorize people but I believe that uh, when we reach September uh, the Greek people are mature enough and they will because they will they would have already felt it in their skin to reorganize regroup and re-express their anger frustration and their resistance again i'm optimistic that uh, we will have a very warm autumn in greece Syriza has already begun a big discussion about uh, its transformation from a coalition of parties and organizations into a single multi-tendency party. Uh, this process, I believe, is very crucial because um, although we are not, in my opinion, we are not in a historical period of massive party membership of the people, uh, in contrast, we know that there's big social availability uh, because of what has happened in the last period. There's a big social availability of people to approach Syriza, to get to know what Syriza stands for in a more extensive way, and even join forces as members. So for us, it's a very crucial process, and it's a very crucial question of uh, how to transform Syriza into a single party and at the same time how this transformation can make us more attractive to these people. The fact that 1.7 million Greeks voted in favor of Syriza in the second elections in June does not automatically mean that the crisis of political representation is over in Greece. It needs a lot of work still to convince people to engage in collective activities. And the, I believe this is a big bet for us in the next period because we already have the experience of organizing the struggles and the resistance, but we should also now experiment on a process of homogenizing these resistances and transferring them into the political level by enlarging the basis of Syriza and by constructing a party that will be able to prepare itself for the next big battle which will not which will eventually come because it seems that the new government although uh, it enjoys a very large majority in the parliament it's uh, weak enough it's weak enough uh, especially if you consider the power of popular resistance as it was expressed in the last period. So we believe that sooner or later this government will face very critical questions and problems because of popular resistance. And we believe that Syriza 
has to be efficient enough to prepare for the next crucial battle.